video I just did about our topsoil dying, how our topsoil used to be measured in feet and it's now measured in millimeters because there's so little of it because industrial farming and mass monocropping is strip mining the soil of health and nutrients. One of those main things it strips of are minerals, whether that's magnesium complex, whether that is oxymag, which has other like zinc and electrolytes in it, whether that's fulvic minerals. This mass monocropping, what it does is it uses heavy machinery. It uses oil and gas and, and fossil fuels, right? And fertilizer inputs to produce quote unquote food, right? With all those inputs, and that food then draws nutrients out of the soil. And if you don't give it time to let nature do her thing to replenish that soil, ruminants, grazing, natural cycles um, of nature, right? If you try to just keep planting, 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 because you need to get food out, which is money, right? Money in, money out, it's just a profit equation. And as much profit as possible on the same strip of land, because that's what you're releasing or own or whatever, then what you get is you get something like magnesium, which you should easily get from the food supply. You get it every single year degrading. So much so that now chromium, zinc, and magnesium are three of the most nutrient defense deficient minerals for Americans today. It's estimated that it's like 80 to... I mean, we could probably say 90%, really. If you really think about people that are eating like a whole food natural diet, it's probably less than 10% of people. 80 to 90% of Americans are deficient in multiple minerals, with magnesium being at the top, zinc being at the top, chromium is one most people don't even know about. There's deficient in that. And this leads to a host of modern degenerative disease. It also makes everything in your life worse. Your sleep, your recovery, your mood, your happiness, your health, your skin, your hair, your nails, how you think and how that affects your whole life from, from work to relationships to your kids, whatever. When you are mineral deficient, everything in your life is worse and you are going to live a shorter life and it's going to be a worse life. And I don't have a solution for the monocropping of the soil. Because as it stands right now, there's a lot of money and power and things at play that's gonna likely perpetuate that system. But I have something that you as an individual can do. You can start by cooking all your meals at home. That's a huge start. Use lots of really high quality salt, big start. Supplement with a high quality magnesium product. Supplement with other minerals, whether liquid or capsule. Supplement with fulvic minerals because it's good for your gut. Do these things as a baseline and eat lots of wild-caught seafood, grass-fed beef, as much local produce and food from farmers around you as possible, and maybe consider getting a hair test. Obviously do a full plan of bud work every so often. Dial in these things by testing, right, and then doing some efforts and then testing again. Self-experimentation. How your life will improve is beyond measure. It's beyond measure because in one case, without doing any of these things, you might just die early. You might get cancer or heart disease or any one of these other modern degenerative diseases. They might just, they might just show up and you might be stuck with it your whole life. But if you take a preventative measure, maybe that never happens. Or maybe you push it back 10 years. Or maybe you become so damn healthy that you had a risk for something and you either catch it early because you just feel something's off and that's what's great about establishing a healthy baseline is that when stuff is off or you're lacking in something, your body usually tells you. And so you can just like go get tested right away. Go, like, go investigate what's going on and then catch something early. If you're chronically sick though, this hides symptoms because you're just so used to feeling like shit. I would start with magnesium. The wild mag is seven forms, highly bioavailable, high amount of elemental, a lot of brands are like 10 to 20% magnesium. This is literally 80 to 90%, 450 out of the 500 milligrams. Great place to start. I take it, the whole fam takes it basically. I take it morning, afternoon, night. I take a swig of the Oxymag every so often and I try to get a swig of uh, full minerals for the gut health and also, you know, it's got 70 naturally occurring trace minerals in here as well. It's just gonna help the gut, the body, etc. Great place to start. But start cooking your own meals if you're not and really try to start sourcing whole real foods as much as you can. That's going to be your best bang for buck. And then you fill in the gaps with supplements.